Hikam El Garouche may be a mouthful, but it's a name that will be remembered for years to come in the 1500 metre running stakes. Hickam, the Moroccan-born middle distance runner, has taken the athletics world by storm. He has won more than 95% of his races over his pet distance of 1500 metres since debuting in 1996. Hickam has won the last two 1500 metres at the World Championships. He owns the world record in the 1500 and the 2000 metres and the mile. And he has run the second fastest 3000 metres in history. He became interested in racing as a child after being inspired by countryman Said Oita's win in the 5000 metres during the 1984 Olympics. While Hickam's distance is shorter, he specialises in the 1500, he is no less inspirational. But whilst Hickam has dominated the world circuit, one accomplishment that has eluded him is an Olympic gold medal. At the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, he was expected to challenge Algerian Nora Dine Michelli for gold in the 1500 metres. But as the final lap began, beginning his stride, he tripped on the Algerian's heel and fell to the track. Unable to recover, he finished last. El Garouche publicly saying, it was the black point of my life. Yet the disappointment didn't last long. After the race, while hiding under the stadium crying, Hickam received a call from King Hussein. The Moroccan monarch told him not to worry and that he was young and would have more Olympic opportunities. After the call by His Majesty, it was another El Garouche who was born, the runner declared afterwards. Since that race, he has only lost once in 1500. Hickam was a Moroccan on a mission lowering Michelli's 1500 meter world standard to 326 flat. A year later, he lowered Michelli's six-year-old mile mark, clocking 343.13. Then, in September 1999, he claimed his third world record, slicing the 2000 meter mark to 444.79 at a meet in Berlin. It was supposedly a perfect warm-up for the Olympics. But at the 2000 Games in Sydney, El Garouche again fell fate to his Olympic phobia, dethroned as the 1500 metre king when he got the silver medal to Noah Nageni of Kenya in a sprint finish. He was in the lead with one and a half laps to go and was still ahead in the final straight, but Noah ran a fabulous last 20 metres and beat Hickam to the line. After the end of the race, Hickam sat down on the track looking dejected. Later, while talking to reporters, he was wiping away tears. Since, Hickam has again supplanted his mark as the world's preeminent middle distance runner, undefeated in the 2002 legs of the IAAF Golden League. In Zurich, he came within 0.89 seconds of his world 1500 metre record. Only when coming off the final bend in Brussels a fortnight later, with Kenya's Bernard Legat on his shoulder, did he ever look vulnerable. However, even with a quick change of pace, the Moroccan maestro was away clear in a flash, finishing in an impressive 3.29.95 time, which was his season's fourth quickest. Male athlete of the year is Hisham El Gerouge. For the second year in a row, no athlete before had two titles in a row. But Hickam wasn't always a runner though. He fell in love with soccer as a youngster, but then switched to running at the encouragement of a teacher who said he was too short to be a goalkeeper. He eventually was invited to his country's training centre in Rabat, where he began emulating his idol. The much-loved Moroccan is also well known for his exploits off the track. In 2001, El Garouche accepted an invitation to become a goodwill ambassador to Morocco for the United Nations Children's Fund. He is coached by Moroccan Abdel Kader Kadar and trains in Rabat at the National Coaching Centre and in Ifrain at altitude in the Atlas Mountains. Hikam El Garouche has committed to further training with another Olympic meet around the corner and is hoping to break the hoodoo.